All right, thank you. We are here with Prolly. Came back and won his first game. Easy, fresh, right? Okay, so congratulations, Prolly, on your win. Now, uh, on your time away, how did you keep up with the team um, so that you would have a seamless reintegration once you came back? Were you still talking to them, practicing with them, uh, you know, talking about strategies? Um, yeah, we actually, before I even left and they were scrimming with uh, ManCloud, I was kind of subbed in as the coach and I watched all the scrims and gave notes and stuff. And then when they played, I went back and watched all the replays and then later we listened to the voice comms. So I pretty much was there in a way, just being a coach and not a player for the last week. So that's kind of been my role because I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't want to have like a fissure in the team. So I just had to like be as involved as I could, but not play. And now bringing in Kez for this game, you guys have yet another person uh, subbing out. How easy was it to bring in Kez and how was it working with Kez? Kez is actually like a super awesome jungler and uh, it's weird how well he just like fits with the team because we all have like our own shot calling kind of thing. But he came in and he started doing shot calling and we were like, oh yeah, your, your shots are actually correct. Like, okay, we'll, we'll listen to you. So everyone's like actually taking a little backseat and let him do a little more work because he's actually like pretty smart with the game. All right, now let's talk a little about you and your Annie pick, because not a lot of people like to play Annie mid. It's played a little bit differently towards the mid and late game. What is your philosophy? What are you trying to bring to the team uh, with the Annie pick? I don't know. The Annie pick is just kind of happen chance. The last time we played it, um, uh, the first split, I played it the day before in scrims, and it, I happened to get the Karthus versus Annie matchup, and then we played Dig, and they picked Karthus, so I picked Annie. Yesterday was the first day I played Annie. Mm -hmm. Again. In a year. In a year. I haven't played her since then. I may, maybe support or something like that. But then yesterday I was like, I think we should do Annie mid, uh, just in case they pick Yasuo. And then we did it in scrims, and two games in a row they picked Yasuo. And I was like, oh, sweet, now I get to practice Annie mid. And then <laughs> they first picked Yasuo, and we were like, oh, this is just perfect. Like, how did this happen again? This is two times in a row I played Annie mid, practicing for the exact matchup I got the next day. All right, so it just kind of worked out that way. Now. Uh, you guys, when are you guys going to get Broken Shard back? And have you been doing a similar thing where uh, you've stayed in contact with him to keep him up to date on what's going on with the team? Yeah, uh, Broken actually like listens into our comms and stuff, and he's kind of nitpicking some of our scrims and stuff like that. But I think he's had problems with the visa and stuff like that, so I'm actually not positive on when we're actually going to get our jungler back, which is pretty sad. But yeah, that's what it's All right. Well, tough break there, but congratulations and good luck tomorrow with LMQ. Uh, we are now going to send it back up to the guys at the desk.